know what? No, we're just going to play normal. This isn't about showing off how good I am at video game. This is about enjoying the video game and being entertaining while I play it. Which some people might enjoy watching me struggle. And to those people, I say, why? Why are you like this? Did, did your parents not love you enough as a child? What's going on? Are you okay? Do you need a hug? I can't, I'm sorry I can't be there to hug you in person. You sound like you need it. Let's kick things off, and let's just get right into it. Back to the beginning. We all come to a story with hopes and expectations, looking for an answer. I certainly Sometimes do. Sometimes it would be better to live with that hope without ever knowing the full story. Ooh. Already getting a little psychedelic. If you're not familiar with, uh, with Remedy, uh, and Remedy's games, uh, one of the more recent ones, Control. In a horror story, there are only victims and monsters. There tend to be a lot of, uh, the trick is not to end up as either surreal elements in horror. By the so. genre, we are all ripped to pieces along the way. And if you're wondering why I'm starting this off in my scared mode, it would be. uh, it seemed appropriate. This is not the ending I wanted. Alan, what are you talking about? This story will eat us alive. This story is a monster. You know, it would be really embarrassing if I said that and there was going to be a recap at the start, pieces. and then there wasn't, and I'm just as confused as everyone else because I haven't played the original since it came out, basically. <laughs> check on something really quick hold on sorry about that technical difficulties but now I think we're good at least I hope we're good it'd be really embarrassing if I continued to have technical difficulties after the finale of my last series looks forlornly out over the, the surface of the water okay oh boy third time's the charm all right, it seems like it's looking pretty good now. The the foibles of, you know, learning how to uh, deal with technical difficulties on the fly. But you know, I think the effort is worth it. Don't you? At least I would hope so. Who is this guy? No, help me, please. I, give me some pants at least. I don't want to be naked out here alone. Well, I guess it's time to continue being naked out here alone. I guess at least nobody is here to judge me in my natural state of undress. Oh. What was that? Who's there? Oh no, I certainly hope there's no scary monster lurking out in the middle of the woods to take advantage of me in my vulnerable situation. Wink. Where the f- Where am I going? Oh. Oh no. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, it was just a furry. Oh. Okay, that actually surprised me. Yeah, I know. Uh. That, that actually took me off guard. It's a real Cortana moment. At least I know I'm going the right way. The game is already jump scaring me. What is, what is that sound? Yeah, please, let me sprint. I don't want to be here any longer than I have to be. Uh, okay. Oh God, the furries. What? God damn. Uh, What's that? I'm I'm seeing things. I'm hallucinating. Into the 
Into the darkness we go. It is really dark, actually. What is... The hills have eyes. I hope they like what they're seeing. Why don't you come out of the woods there, big boy, and, and let me put on a show for you. <gasps> Ooh, light. I know light is good. Wait. Is the house? Oh god, it's so dark. Hello? Uh... Friends? Yo, what's up? Oh god. Oh god. Please! Oh god! I, I got an achievement. I got an achievement for getting stabbed. Talk about a cold open, jeez. That's crazy. Woo, boy. If it wasn't clear, this is not for children. Kids, look away. I have no idea what is going on. But the game has started and somebody has already had their heart ripped out as they were sacrificed on a picnic table. That's how I know we're in for a treat. All the best cults rip people's hearts out on picnic tables. That's in Cult of the Lamb, right? I, I, I don't know, I haven't played it yet. Alan. Oh, Alan Wake. <laughs> oh no, that was a really funny way to do the title. <laughs> just one at a time. It's just Alan flashes across the screen. Hey, kiddo. How are you? I'm good, mom. I think it's How fairly, fairly clear now that I was incorrect about I the thought. recap. I'm sorry I've been gone so much lately, Logan. Oh my god, Mom, it's not your fault. People get all murdery. What happened? Just work. I don't know if that's how kids talk well, normally. Dad and I are just watching the latest episode of Night Springs here. Mom, it's so good. No spoilers. I'll let you get back to the show. You were supposed to wait and watch with me. Oh, Logan's going to be in trouble. I love you both. This is what happens when you go on work trips, Mom. Yeah, I watch TV shows without you. And say hi to Casey. Tell him to stop brooding so much. Logan. I will. Ooh, Cauldron Lake. Bye, kiddo. Familiar location. Look at this stern-looking guy here in the passenger seat. Logan thinks you should try cheering up. <laughs> Snarky kid. Wonder where she gets that from. Oh, the synchronized coughing shrinking. It can't be a coincidence that another body turns up just as we arrive in town. I mean, why can't it be? Feels like the killer's leaving us a message. Sometimes things happen and they're just coincidences. I'm glad you're on this case with me, Anderson. It's right up your alley. You should take lead. Wait, why does he say that's right up my alley? Backup. Okay. Any words of advice? Yes. Nothing that would cheer anyone up. Well, I mean, that's not what I asked. I asked for advice. I'm not looking to be uh, entertained or cheered up. Cauldron Lake. Here we are, indeed. Time to get to work. Man, Remedy really knows how to make. Just very interesting, stylish looking games. A deputy was supposed to be here to show us to the crime scene. There's the car, so where's the deputy? Yeah, where is the deputy? By a bear? I'll check out that map. I mean, they probably do have bears out here. 
No, I think getting eaten by a bear, they're, they're worse fates. Oh, he means like mauled by an actual bear. Um, oh, this is embarrassing. Um, what are we looking at? Look at that map. Don't tell me what to do. Oh my God. I got to turn these achievements off. Hold on. All right. I think I turned on notifications. I think I hear someone. Could be our deputy. All right. Ooh. I like this map. What is the sort of baked in shadow? What is going on there? Is that water? I'm not sure. I guess we'll find out. Oh boy. Oh, it's funny being back in the world of Alan Wake after hey, over here. however many years. Is this our deputy? Hey there. What if I go over Casey, here? Right? Sheriff Breaker said you'd nah, I won't go over there. Over the case. I'll You're go over here that, instead. Right? Anderson. What's up, my good man? Saga Anderson. I'll be leading this Ooh, case. Saga. Seems you already know my partner. That's a great Alex name. Casey. Shoot. Sorry about that, ma'am. I, I'm Deputy Mulligan. Want to give that another shot? I just figured that you know that. Uh, you want to take a Mulligan? It's gonna show up, Mulligan. Federal agents right here, Thornton. My partner Thornton, down at the crime scene. <clears throat> Seems like you could really you use a mulligan for this whole shit. interaction. Any witnesses? Were there any witnesses? That's a good question. Yeah, a couple out of towners. I wonder what they were doing sneaking around the woods at night. <laughs> Not that we have anything against city folk, right, Thorne? I know, it sounds like you do have something against city don't folk. don't worry. Sheriff Breaker took them back to town a while ago. Oh, cool. So we'll probably be talking to them later. Uh, I could what use a briefing. What can you tell us about the crime scene? Let me know what's going on here. I was getting to that, Thornton. Thornton, stop spoiling. Well, we reckon there are some uh, organs that are currently outside the victim's Person, I mean, you could just say be, his heart's missing. Well, you we know, saw the cutscene. Inside. Oh well, let's uh, let's take a look at that body then. I want to see the body. How do we get there? Oh, sure, that's real simple. Just through the hole in the fence, down the hill towards the lake, around the old convenience store. You can't miss it. Can't miss Everything's it. Okay. Everything's been closed since the area was fenced off. The store, the campground, all of it. Got it, Thornton. Thanks, Mulligan. Thanks, Thornton. For nothing. All righty then. Before we get to the crime scene, there's time to review the facts of the case so far. What are we looking at? Make sure I'm seeing the clues clearly. I can see clearly now the rain is gone. The mine place. <laughs> My version of the mine palace technique. To sift through clues. Oh, it's a specific. Okay. Building the mind place again for each case. Ah, uh, the mind place. Using each field office as a model in my head. I love it. The All facts right. are on the board. Facts are on the board. Let's check them out. Ooh, we're looking at the case board. What do we got? Everything we know about the previous murders. And what exactly Worth is taking that? another look. Yeah, let's, let's see what we got. The case board is a mental technique that allows Saga to analyze clues and progress the investigation. You can use the right stick to move around. Left and right triggers to zoom. And that to move the cursor. Okay. Cool. All right, so let's take a look. Does it actually like... So the victims. Uh, all victims reported missing in 2010. No other commonalities. So who were our victims? We have Ted Lane, a dentist. Stab wounds, bloating, bruising on the wrists. Wendy Davis, teacher, body bloated, large chest wound. And that was, wait, hold on. Victim was reported missing in 2010, discovered in 2012, buried in a shallow grave. Found in Cauldron Lake in 2018, some organs missing. Predation, state of the body does not match eight years spent in a lake. Well, that's unusual. I wonder why that would be. 
And then Percy Wolf, store owner, store owner, bruising, heart removed, strange tattoos. They gave him tattoos at the crime scene. Oh, these guys are hardcore. Found two weeks ago. Chest wound was ruled as cause of death. Tattooing on the body is illegible. Ugh, not even good tattoo artists. Uh, let's see. Do we have... Does this actually tell us anything? Uh, the previous murders. A series of murders have occurred around the town of Bright Falls. Finding the connections will help our search for the killer. The killers? Uh, I mean, their discographies all over the internet. I don't think we'd have a hard time finding that. Victim number three was covered in an illegible... I can read. Victim number three was covered in illegible tattoos. A message from the killer, maybe. Or their art. Ugh. These artists out here doing their performance art in the woods in the middle of the night for no one else to see. The worst. Apart from going missing in 2010, the victims have nothing apparent in common. Uh, and the killer may be a sportsman or a hunter. So they went missing in 2000, all of them went missing in 2010 and just have started showing up in like different periods of time. That's interesting. But... I see you're already hard at work, Anderson. Close to cracking it. We're just getting started. <laughs> oh my god, my guy. Let's head down the hill to the crime scene. I'm good. I'm not that good. Come on. Like, give me some credit, but okay, seriously, don't hype me up sure. that much. You can gas me up all you want, Anderson. That doesn't... Too much sky. Too much sky. Dude never gets out and touches grass. You should touch some grass, Anderson. It's good for you. Is there anything over there? I'm gonna do my very, very hey, best to fight my you're natural. You're putting me in charge. Why now? Look, Anderson, you're a better detective than I am. Oh. You've cracked cases that had the rest of us baffled. He's got that. I don't want to slow you down. Are you thinking of retiring? You know what happens to cops who say this is their last case. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, you're I wouldn't funny, be surprised Anderson. if that was true. Uh, no, I'm gonna try and fight my natural instinct to explore every nook and cranny for this uh, that's my that's my sort of go to modus operandi when uh when i'm playing games but i understand that that's not very interesting for other people to watch so we're gonna rein Desiree, in that instinct you okay to jump down and if i should fail to do so i will probably cut that out your knees okay old man <sighs> Ooh, mirror peak. The mighty mountain in the distance is no other than Mirror Peak, the iconic landmark overlooking Cauldron Lake. From the right angle, its beauty will be reflected on the calm surface of the lake, mirrored in all its inverted glory. Ah, reflections. I wonder if that's going to end up being a common theme in this game. If you're following along at home, Take notes. Detective Bo Astra is on the case. Saga, who? The main character? Psh, it's all me, baby. I got plenty of time up here in the Astral Labyrinth to figure this out. This is very pretty. I'm just gonna continue to- Not a bad to place to get murdered. <laughs> if getting back to nature is your thing. Saga, I mean, that's- I understand you're like a, a murderer. You're into murder investigation as your your career. I guess you got to make yeah. jokes where you can. Should have brought an umbrella. I like the rain. But even then, that seems the a little bit morbid. here that feels like home. You think the local law had the sense to put up a tarp? Hmm. If they did, next coffee's on me. Okay, but only if you drink it with me at the exact same time, like we did earlier. Oh, what's this? Hold on. Wait just a second. An old phone booth. I did not want to swap. Oh, he's talking to Thornton. Woo wee. That looks nice. Look at that. Man. Man, people are so good at making video games. Remedy, keep doing what you're doing. Hey! Oh, all right, here. Let me handle this. Deputy Thornton, 
I take it. Thornton. That's me, at your service, ready to get this case solved. Now the body's behind this door. Okay. Come on, I'll show you. Show me, show me the way, sir. So, Wait. The FBI, huh? That's so cool. Give me that flashlight. What have I found? I found some evidence, some poker chips. Can I look around for anything else? This, that's fun. I like, I'm liking the vibes I'm picking up so far. I mean, I liked the original. I like the original Alan Wake, and this one is hitting on the same notes so far. Um, can I, can I close that? Nobody else go in there. It's a crime scene. Hey friends. Don't mind me, I'm just doing my job. I should turn that off. Not doing much good in the brightness. Hmm. So you said it's here on the other side? This guy came up and said, hey, you want to see a bot? Oh, God. Now, this is the scene of the crime. Yeah, you found him on the table. And we didn't touch nothing, you know. You, procedures you think, Thornton? You think this stuff? is where it happened? Thanks, Deputy. No, Tara. You owe me a coffee. No. Okay. Shut up. Let's start by examining our guest of honor. Does yeah. this fit the MO of the previous murders? Yeah, tell us. What do you got? What do you got, Thornton? Nothing. Step one. Examine the corpse. You ain't got nothing. Body is positioned on the table. Oh, Ritualistic. I'm gonna have to blur that out. Thanks, game. Uh, all right, let's take a look at the case board. Uh, allows Sage to see active clues. The key image can be selected with A place on the case board. Let's do it. Another body turns up just as we arrive in town. I like this Christmas sweater. Coincidence? It's our cozy Christmas sweater. Placing a key image on the case board begins a new line of investigation. When a key image is placed, it will prompt a new question. Let's go ahead and continue our investigation. Do you think we should investigate the very obvious heart that has been removed from his chest first? The killer left the heart right next to the body. They did do that. They did, in fact, I can see it right there. <laughs> uh. Inside stab wound, chest cut open, heart removed. Yep. I can, I can definitely see, I can put two and two together here. The heart was removed from the body. Bruising on the wrist from the cargo straps holding him down. Very good. All right, let's take a look at that case board then. So. Where we can be placed onto the open question. Is it consistent with the previous murders? That is not the important part. Um, we're going to put that on there. And then we want to grab that and we want to put that on there. You know, I had... Heart removed from chest, strapped by the wrists definitely matches the previous one. I do like that they use... But this time the heart and the straps were left behind. Oh, they must have been interrupted. Well, this we... makes four murders that we know about. We do know that they were interrupted because the, the cutscene showed us that they somebody saw them doing this, so that, that would explain why they would leave something behind. Um, but no, I had a thought... Because uh, I love games that require you to sort of like put two and two together, critical thinking and, and like investigation. Uh, and this sort of like str like connecting things together with strings, like sort of linking different ideas type mechanic is something that I thought about for a game before. And I'm kind of thrilled that it's in this game, honestly. Uh, so our questions now are, yeah, learning more about the victim and learning more about the killers. Who is our victim? Who killed him? Need to find more clues. Large amount of blood on the table. Large amount of blood. I, yeah. The victim died here. Yeah, that's not surprising. Multiple people were here. Multiple mm -hmm. killers? That's a good question. 
it's always it's always funny i mean it's it's the tutorial they're showing us how the gameplay works but you know having seen the opening cutscene we know we know what happened here someone left in a hurry knock the tripod over Knocked the truck they were recording was it for a camera they were recording the ritualistic sacrifice someone was drinking beer they just spent a, time here waiting just a weekend with the boys out cutting people's hearts out real heartbreak club what do we got so there were multiple sets of footprints and that's definitely going to go with the killers and then we've got heavy blood splatter on the table. Uh, does that? I assume that also goes there. I guess. Boot prints indicating multiple killers. Premeditated. Quite the party. Yeah, that makes sense. So we've now. What else do we got? Any idea who the victim is? Oh, I sure do. His name is Nightingale. Nightingale. He was FBI. He came to town about 13 years ago. Now, I haven't heard a word about him since. Well, until now. Nightingale. Interesting. Robert Nightingale? Oh, yes. You probably knew him. Brothers in arms. Oh, and sisters. You think we just, you think we just know every FBI agent? You think we're all the same? We're not. I mean, we did know him. Not personally, but. We're gonna check the case board. So we got the victim. His name was Robert Nightingale. Huh. Do you have anything else for us? So you knew our victim. Yeah, you know, you know what's going on? Well, I didn't recognize him in his current state. But yeah, I ran into him a few times at Quantico. Never worked any cases together. Oh, but you, so you were like acquaintances. Field, he went off the deep end. Ah, uh, I that. see. Um, well then what happened after he got fired? So what happened to Nightingale after the Bureau let him go? I only know the rumors. Depression led to booze, booze led to paranoia. Tale as old as time. He got some wild ideas in his head. Chased ghosts until he fell off the map. He became a Ghostbuster. Got he it. Ended up here. I bet there's more to that story. But there no absolutely has to be, considering he's here and dead. Nightingale went missing 13 years ago, 2010. The same as all the other victims. It's like it's, it's a commonality. Makes me wonder what was going on that year. Probably something this town wants to forget. Oh uh, yeah, I wonder what happened in 2010. Case board. Uh, he went off the deep end. Robert Nightingale, ex FBI, came to Bright Falls 13 years ago. All right, well, we know it was, it would have had to be premeditated because they were drinking beer and they had a tripod. They planned for the murder to happen here, passing the time with equipment ready. They were waiting for him. Mm hmm. But why Nightingale? He's been missing for 13 years. That's a good question. Why here? Why now? I mean, do you think the game, do you think it's just gonna explain the whole thing to you? Profiling. Feels like the whole, the Getting whole point the head, of the game. See what they saw, feel what they felt. Use whatever I know about them to guide my intuition to a revelation. Piece it together. Ah, uh, we're going to profile now. Let's figure this out. Saga can discover new clues by profiling people of interest. Okay. Uh, I mean, it feels like ritual murder. Nightingale was chosen as the victim. Why? Click the switch. It goes click. Lights are off. At somebody's home. Somebody's home. This wasn't some random act of violence. No, definitely not. This was a ritual. A nightingale, a component. They didn't see him as a person. More like a container for something. 
What do you think he had inside of him? Agent Nightingale has been MIA for 13 years. 13 years is an awful long time. How did he end up here? Up from the lake that's not a lake. It's dark. He was there too. You are not allowed in the lake until he says otherwise. Robert Nightingale. What makes you think? Before his murder. What makes you think I want to go to the the creepy lake? The horrible creepy lake. He came from Cauldron Lake, you say? Uh, there's nothing else for us to. Ooh, what's that? This mug always cheers me up. Not the worst bomb. Oh. To me, that says uh, that's that says a lot. The lake is connected to Nightingale somehow. We gotta go to the lake. Casey, let's take a look down by the lake. Casey, let's let's go the swimming. Way. Sounds good. Uh, this way, right? All right, right. Thornton, bring okay. your floaties. Well, I'll just uh, I'll just wait here. Put a tarp over the body, for Christ's sakes, Jesus. <sighs> Amateurs, come on now. This it's like he's never investigated a murder Anderson. scene before. Did something happen at the lake? I think Nightingale came up from that direction. From the lake. Probably looking for shelter. Safety. And all he found was They were waiting for him. When you're ready, good old I murder boys. To put together so far. Sure. It's not that complicated. I just went to my mind place. Out in the woods alone at night, possibly nude. Definitely nude. The killers knew he was here. Ambushed him. Dragged him to the campgrounds. Strapped him to the table. Cut his heart out. But then they were interrupted by those witnesses, the bookers. A good thing, too. The job is unfinished. That seems pretty complicated to me. What was this guy doing skinny dipping at this time of year? I haven't figured that part out yet. That's mm -hmm. just where the evidence That's seems to be leading, Casey. I don't That's know what to tell you. You think there's a bad time I of the year to skinny dip, though? I do it whenever. Big. What's going on here? Gives me the creeps. A witch with no heart. A witch with a no strange heart. strange echo of owl murder. Hmm. Which is ladle. There's no mystery in Cauldron Lake being named after it. Uh, there's no mystery in Cauldron Lake being named after its cauldron shape, and yet there are many mysterious stories about the lake, it being a gloomy doorway to the underworld, or of a witch whose cauldron the lake really was. The legend tells that when the affections of a local sheriff went unanswered, he accused the lady in question of having bewitched him. She was drowned, but her dropped ladle grew into a strange tree named Witch's Ladle. The woman returned to avenge her wrongdoers. If she was not a witch before, she was one now. She killed the sheriff, drowning him in the lake. Then she took out his heart and locked it in a box. With the heart, she would summon him from the lake to exact revenge on her behalf. Or so the legend goes. That, uh... Remedy, are you being a little on the nose? You just... You, you you showing your hand this early? Are you gonna you gonna make me do it? Oh, there's some paper. There's a piece of paper on the ground. What does it say? Tracks. Barefoot. Barefoot tracks. Nightingales? What does the paper they say? They come out from under the boulder. It makes no sense. It doesn't make any sense. Do we know? Oh, it's gonna tell us now. A page full of text on one side. Not a printout. Written with a typewriter. Old school. Lines scratched out and edits added with a pen. Mm. Mm -hmm. Like a manuscript. Like a manuscript. Yeah. If you if you did play the first Alan Wake, you would know. Uh, Alan wrote with a typewriter. And uh, his the pages of his story would. Uh, the text is about us. The pages of his stories would show up and sort own. of predict things that were going to happen. FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale. And then there was the page they found. They did. They just the found it. See? Down exactly the same. Death. Exactly the same. Reading, Reading the, words. the words. These words felt like a message. They did. Someone's Someone trying to tell us something. Someone they were here. Someone playing a game with them. An invitation. How could they not accept? Even, Even if they, they knew, knew it would end up hurting them. God, I thought I had turned off 
This is right the... up my alley. <laughs> I Not thought I could turn right? those off. Uh, oh Maybe well. drop this page, or the killers left it for us. I should profile Nightingale about this page. Let's do it then. The game is telling me I should profile, so I'm gonna profile. We found a page in the woods. A story about these events. What is Nightingale's role in this? I carry his words close to my chest now. Whose words? Inside. The awful truth. You must dig it out. Um, was cut inside him. That's why they cut his, his heart chest. out. I must find out what. That's why they cut his heart out. Ooh, we can check the manuscript pages here. The victim was one of their own. FBI Special Agent uh, okay. Robert Nightingale. Gone missing here. It's just the exact same thing, but read in the voice of Alan Wake. Also, Casper Darling in, uh, can I, how am I supposed to, oh, there it is. Also, Casper Darling in Control. Great game if you haven't played it. Strangler case. Proud of that one. This is... I like I like this kind of being like an interactive uh, menu, you know? There's something really cool about... Uh, I mean, that definitely goes here. And the trail has gone cold. That should probably go here, too. I think he came from the lake. But his tracks make no sense. They don't. Uh, Nightingale had something inside of him. And then the manuscript page. Found all I can here. Time to properly examine the body. See what I can find inside. Yep, we're definitely gonna have to go back and keep looking at that body then. Casey. Gonna I have to loot that, that body, body, loot that body Let's now, loot that body, gotta the loot the motherfucker. Board. Okay. Whoever wrote that page made sure it read like a story. Like a scene from a thriller. I hate all of it. That it did. The text said we'd find more. I believe it. But what's the purpose? They're twisting events to create their own narrative to do what? Entertain check. some fantasy? What's going on over here? Projecting oh, that's, is that where we came down? Desires? Are we characters or the audience? Witnesses to their design? Well, I want to check the map really quick. They drag you in. Too late. I'm gonna I'm let it. Hooked. I need the next chapter. It's gonna continue to drag me in. What's going on over here? Ooh. Found a new note. Friday. Mitch told me today that her family moving away. This sucks. I haven't even told her that I like her yet. What's the point anymore? She said her parents want to get better jobs and get her to a better school in the big city. I guess that's fair. Who wants to stay in bright fucking falls? Sunday. So I told her. She said thanks. Fucking kill me. Monday. I snuck out last night again, went to the big house by the lake, instead of just watching it from here like I always do, instead of just sitting around like I always do. Screw that! Anyway, something weird's going on down there, and I'm gonna find out what. Going to go back there tomorrow with better gear. I bet I can find a way inside the building, take some photos. <laughs> it's gonna be epic. It probably was not very epic. Or poggers. Oh, I found some batteries. The game hasn't even taught me about batteries yet. Probably because I'm going to have to come by here later. And I'm just getting ahead of myself. What's that? Is that a kid's lunchbox? An Alex Casey movie lunchbox. I found manuscript. Casey hates the endless jokes about coincidentally having the same name as a fake detective. Oh, it's a coincidence, he is it? He hates those cheesy crime books. But he really hates the movies. I know things can get a little crazy around here, but if you're ever feeling scared, just remember that Alan is watching over us. Alan? Oh, that's kind of fun. 
All right. Yeah, yeah, I can get down with that. That's that's a neat way to do weapon upgrades in this game. It's like finding weird sort of manuscript fragments, not like full pages of manuscript. Is there anything else going on back here? What is going on in this house? The witch's hut. Here lived the witch of Cauldron Lake. Beware, her spirit may still haunt this place. How much you wanna bet it does. Turn that light on. We're not allowed, it's not allowed to be dark. Is there anything in here? There wasn't even anything in here. What a rip off. What a rip off. Unbelievable. Not even a secret for me to look at. Ugh. Right. Well, Do I you know this entire area is inside a caldera? This whole mountain used to be an active volcano. Imagine the force it took. Is he? He's probably like Take it in. over here. So essentially, we're standing in the gaping maw of hell. You got it. I used to love geology <laughs> there when I was he in is. school. I helped Logan build a great baking soda volcano for her science fair. Feeding on a science fair? That's almost a crime, Anderson. Hey, I'm not gonna say no to quality time with Good. a volcano. I mean, my daughter. I mean, I'm probably not gonna. While they're while they're trying but to have their conversation, I, I I don't really want to talk to over because it's a very story based I hope you didn't game. Get stuck in any of those big puddles. If I think of anything Crazy interesting to say, I will, there, I will huh? do so. Just like I said, deputy, I want the body taken back to town for a proper examination ASAP. Well, sure, but the coroner won't be back in town for another week after Deer Fest. Well, that's no inconvenient. I'll do it myself. Oh, and Sheriff Breaker called. To say he's got the bookers at the Oh Dear Diner in town. Ooh, fantastic. Oh, and got a key to the gate. It's a shortcut back to the parking lot just up the hill. Give me that key. Thank you. Thanks. All Let's right. get the car. Drive to Bright Falls and talk to these witnesses, the bookers. At the diner, right? I, I could use a cup of coffee. Let's try that shortcut the deputy mentioned. Sounds good. Well, I do owe him a cup of coffee. Can I see the... Uh... You know, we're probably gonna end up having to come back here later, so... Do, do, do. This is our shortcut. Let's use the key. What do we got going on? Seems like a nice Keep up, so Casey. Far. We're gonna run. Pretty woods. Cute lodge we got, got a set nice up little in. jog going. We should go for a hike if we get a chance. Now you're just being mean, Anderson. Oh, you don't Deputies like hiking, aren't huh? Exactly up to the task, but Neither hopefully do I. the sheriff will be more helpful. Not a surprise about the deputies. Doubt they see much stuff this gruesome. Probably not. Well, I mean, if they were working like 10 years ago or 13 years ago, I guess in this case. Right Falls, it's not like it hasn't seen its share of weird stuff going on. I'll be back in a second. Roger. Yeah. What do we got? We find another lunchbox. A lunchbox again. We did. Who's leaving these out here? We're all in this together. Have a heroic day. Okay. I'll try. Here we stand hand in hand. Make our dreams come true. All right, I'll stop. <laughs> oh no. High school musical references in 2024. What's the world coming to? Oh, Can't fit the clues all together so yet. Silent. It's... Heart removed, tripod, tracks leading to a dead end. Tripod. They were filming camera saga to record a. They were recording a snuff film. film. <laughs> there it is. There it is. He said it. Heart, just to throw it away. To stuff in something for us to find. 
They were recording a snuff film. That's what this has always been about, Ander uh, not Anderson, uh, Casey. This has always been about a snuff film. Alrighty then. What are we- Ugh, hold on, I gotta hold to do to the, the map. Uh, I'm just gonna check over here really quick. It does look like there I is think I saw something. something on the ground here. It'll only take a minute. I'll wait here. Bird watchers. Bird watching. Watching birds. And by birds, I mean animals. Not not women. Cause that kind of sounded like an old timey thing to say. Even though it's 2023 in the game. We're gonna go on this hiking trail really quick. Casey, get your boots on, let's go. Whew. 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 Jump down. Was there any reason for us to do this? No. It was entirely just to show Here we off. Are. Let's drive back to town and meet the sheriff at the diner. Alright. Did I drive or did you? I drove, right? Sure enough. I can't get that manuscript page out of my head. I've never seen killers reach out so directly before. Damn impressive work so far. With your technique, these hunches were moving fast. I wasn't sure about taking a case so far from home, but I'm thrilled to be here for this mystery. 